Hey there! I like to keep my reviews really focused and to the point and that means that often I don't want to go, go too deeply into personal stuff. But if you will allow me, uh, I think that today I have a, a pen for you that is truly special. And I wanted to talk a tiny bit about that and I hope you'll bear with me and forgive me. But if you really don't like this, then maybe fast forward a minute or two. 2017, I was the DC Pen Super Show and I saw three pens that I really liked. Armando Simoni Club Bologna Extra, which I think was launched at that show the Lambrou Pens LB6 and Conway Stewart Great Exhibition. The Conway Stewart was shown to me by Francis, who is a friend of the great Sarge Minhas. Sarge is a phenomenon at the, the, the pen show circuit, the one-man pen show. Yeah, he introduced me to Francis uh, and it was actually Jazz, uh, Sarge's wife, who, who said, Francis, show him the Great Exhibition. Now Francis, as I understand it, unfortunately I do not for the life of me remember his last name, but from what I remember he was involved with the Conway Stewart Company. And out comes a huge pen, the biggest fountain pen I've ever seen. And I have seen some big pens in my time. It's a great exhibition. And he talks to me about it, I'll show you the pen in a second, um, but as I said I was trying to keep this part brief for those of you who don't care. Beautiful, huge pen, and it was also two thousand dollars. And at the time, I just arrived in Canada. I didn't have a job yet. I didn't. I, I, was, there was, I'm not, I wasn't going to buy a two thousand dollar pen. So, time passed, and I kept sort of keeping an eye on, on eBay. And at some point, June 2020, I find one. Now, these pens go for about two grand on the in the pre-owned market. And I, I found one for, I think, 1600 And I thought, I'm going to make an offer, 1400 There's no way the seller is going to accept an offer, $200 under the asking price. But, you know, then at least I can sort of soothe my conscience and say, well, you know, I, I, I made a bid. Much to my surprise, in under an hour, the bid was accepted. And then I, <laughs> then I had to pay up, in it. Um, anyway. The pen was shipped out. It took two years to get to me, and that was due to the pandemic. This is nobody's fault. This is just the way logistics work. I, I'm not going to get into that story because it's not relevant. Um, now I have my pen. And it just so happens that just a couple of weeks ago, I, I happened to get tenure at the Polytechnic where I work, and I thought, you know what, that's a very nice not really coincidence, but it just happens to align well. I'm going to treat this as my very special gift to myself. That's the personal story behind it. I'm super excited for this pen. Honestly, this is something truly special. So I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can actually see the pen. I will tell you a bit about the pen, I'll cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And that's pretty much it. I won't waste any more of your time, let's get started. Okay, sorry for having this part of the tripod in the frame, but otherwise I can't show you the box. A very fascinating box in this Conway Stewart, kind of shaped a bit like a treasure chest with the Conway Stewart logo, nice and simple. You open it up and then you reveal the pen. Um, and that's it. Shall we do it? Are you ready? Sure? Okay. Stop messing around. Here we have the pen. I'm going to take it out, put it to the side. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, here you have a syringe that you use to fill the pen uh, because it, it actually um, is an eye dropper pen with a massive capacity. Uh, it's actually engraved Conway Stewart. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's on there. A little syringe and then it also came with a bottle of Conway Stewart blue, um, which is a nice washable blue, by the way. Okay, let's have a look at the pen. Let me put out uh, some comparison materials. Here we have a Pilot Metropolitan, here we have a Lamy Safari, and here we have a Conway Stewart Great Exhibition. So when I say this is rather a large pen, 
Um, I'm not kidding. Okay, zooming in time. What makes this pen so special? Well, it's named after the Great Exhibition of 1851. If I'm not mistaken, um, there is a whole story about that Great Exhibition on the, the Conway Stewart website. Oh, by the way, it also came with some paperwork I forgot to show you, and I know you're super interested in that. Warranty, uh, and there is a, a care guide. Uh, sorry about that. So, the Great Exhibition, uh, the Crystal Palace, read up on all the history because it is kind of fascinating. And now we have this pen. What is fascinating about this pen? Well, first of all, it's limited. There's only 50 of these. Um, there is a Vermeil finish, and, uh, which I've never seen in real life, and then there is a silver finish. Vermeil, remember, is gold on silver. Um, <clears throat> this finish, this overlay, is made by hand by the great Henry Simpole, who was a um, a famous silversmith in the UK, and a couple days after I purchased this pen, uh, he passed away. Fortunately, correlation does not imply causation, um, but there, there you have it. He was an expert at this kind of stuff, and the overlay he did is absolutely wonderful. You have these leaves, uh, and the detail in them is really quite nice. I'm going to take these pens out of the way, and I will try to zoom in a bit. I can't zoom in too much because the pen fills the entire frame. Anyway, I'll try to zoom in a bit to give you an idea of this overlay and the quality. Uh, the leaves are really nice, they have some refined detail in them, and I really, really do like it. There's all the hallmarks for the silver, and there is the 925 stamp for 92.5% uh, silver content, sterling silver, in other words. Okay, now, if you like a bigger pen like I do, then this is of course a lot of fun. Uh, this is a Classic Pens LB6. I'm really not joking when I say this is a big pen. Okay, so parts of the pen. There isn't a whole lot to discuss because there is no clip. Um, it's just a massive cap and a massive barrel, okay? So on top here, the finial, we have this finial. The pen is handmade, as I understand, and I don't know what material it is. I don't know if it is a plastic or if it's an ebonite. Um, whatever it is, it's very shiny, which makes me think it's a plastic uh, on acrylic, but not not ebonite. Um, although I guess it could be really polished ebonite. Anyway, the first thing you notice when you hold it is the massive size. This end to this end is 8 inches, or 20 centimeters. Um, the second thing you notice when you actually hold it, which is something I can't really convey on screen, is the weight. This is a substantial pen, and that's because of all the silver on it. Right, the silver goes all the way around, so that's a lot of silver. Finial, black, black cap, black barrel. Uh, barrel seems pretty uniform in size. Um, nice taper down of the cap there. And when you unscrew it, you reveal a massive section. By the way, fun, fun fact. Compare the Pilot Metropolitan to the cap of the Great Exhibition. Right. Okay. Massive section, hourglass shape and then this section unscrews and this entire barrel holds ink. I haven't measured it. They say it holds the capac it has the capacity of eight cartridges. If a cartridge is half a milliliter, that would be four milliliters. Given that an Ahab, I think, is six milliliters, I think this is more. I would say this is closer to seven, eight milliliters of ink, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. Um, section, hourglass shaped, and then you have this nib. And I thought when I uncapped this pen for the first time, what a shame they put on a number six nib. But then I realized it's not a number six nib, it's a number eight nib. It just looks like a number six nib because it is a freaking huge pen. Okay, so here we have on this Otto Hoot a number six nib. And as you can see, when I put them close together, the Conway Stewart is number eight. Okay, um, I started to have that feeling when I had a close look at the feed, which looks a lot like ebonite. So I'm pretty sure this is an ebonite feed. The nib is engraved with the Conway Stewart logo. It says Conway Stewart, 18 karat gold and M for medium. Is it a comfortable pen to write with? Well, if you want to get the full experience, <clears throat> obviously you should post it 
uh, and then you certainly have something that's probably the size of my lower arm and I wish I was kidding but I'm not um, of course you don't post this uh, you use it unposted and I'll tell you what it is surprisingly comfortable it is certainly a heavy pen and it is certainly big but because this section is so large you actually have a lot to hold on to and it rests comfortably in your hand and you can use it would I want to write 50 pages with this at a time probably not but again I found it surprisingly comfortable um, another nice thing is because it's eyedropper filled I have not had this pen run dry I've not had any hard starts I've not had any skipping I've not had any issues with it so yes uh, it's big lie lie why don't we see how it writes A deliciously wet line and it stays that wet which is wonderful uh, Comma Stewart blue yeah is the ink uh, the bottle that came with the pen it, I, I first thought when I saw this like this would be one fill but it turns out that it's not quite that bad um, Writing fast with this is not that easy because of the weight, but as you've seen, normal writing is definitely possible. As to that wetness uh, I was talking about, yes, it's wet. It's a nice round nib um, that does have a little bit of bounce to it reverse writing turns the medium into a fine and it is possible I would not use it that way but to each their own it's special it looks like all sorts of things and I absolutely love it. It's a magnificent piece. Not something you'd carry in a shirt pocket because it would rip off. Um, I have to probably commission someone to make a leather single pen case for this because I don't know how else I would I would carry this. It certainly won't fit in my regular pen case. That's that much is certain. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I don't mean to keep you here all day. I'll just show you some gratuitous um, overlay porn, basically. Um, let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Conway Stewart Great Exhibition, which is pretty much as big as my face? Um, I, I just don't like it. I'm thinking of just throwing it out. No, I mean, there's a lot I like about this pen. This is one of the, the, the pens that I've purchased for myself, uh, which is very rare these days. Because I do think that this is probably the last pen I bought. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not about me, is it? God. Anyway, um, that's a lot I like. The... Sorry, I'm not holding it up, but you have no idea. <laughs> it's a heavy pen. Um, the craftsmanship is outstanding. The work Henry Simpole did was outstanding. He was known for his very high quality pen overlay work, silversmithing work. So that is wonderful. The size is something else. Uh, it's hard to describe. I mean, you saw it kind of from an up, like a high up perspective, but I mean, this is nothing to joke about. It's a huge pen and I love it. You know I like, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know I like bigger pens. This is as big as it gets. I think if it would be half an inch longer, it would be unusable. There, there is a physical limit 
to the size a fountain pen can be. I thought it was an Amiki Emperor. Turns out it's not. This pen dwarfs an Emperor. It's like this much bigger than an Emperor is. Pause. Brackets. If you would like a shootout between this pen and some other big pens, uh, for example, I'm thinking I don't want to do 20 separate shootouts with this pen and other pens, but I mean something like um, Great Exhibition, Namiki Emperor, Danny Trio, Genkai, uh, Delta Roma Imperiala. These are some of the biggest pens I have. If you would find that interesting, please leave a comment below. I already know people are going to want that. Anyway, if you want that, then, then let me know and I'll do that. Likes and dislikes. Craftsmanship is outstanding. But hey, the pen actually writes. It turns out to have a super nice, smooth, pleasant to use nib. Ebonite feed, rich ink flow. It's delicious. And I just love using it. Um, craftsmanship is beautiful. The pen writes beautifully. Again, this is in my mind the physical limit that a fountain pen can be in size any bigger than this and it would truly be unusable it would be un unwielding like we always pens have gone have gotten bigger and bigger over time we know this look at a standard vintage pen i'm not talking about that massive waterman but i mean standard normal vintage pens and then look at what we have these days it's the the, the the bigger the better but this is it though like this this is actually the limit i don't think it can be bigger than this because then it's just not usable anymore things i don't like it's not cheap. There are 50 of these. And then the Vermeil, which again, I have never seen. So those must have been snapped up by collectors who are holding on to them. If they were ever made, I'm assuming they were made, but I, I, I don't know. If you know, let me know. If you own one, definitely let me know. That'd be fun. Um, it's limited. It's large. This is a collector's pen. This is the type of thing that you buy because you want to really splurge on something which is what I did and sometimes it's fun to treat yourself that way and then you're you're buying something that is absolutely not penny for penny worth what you've paid for it but you enjoy the luxury of that thing and this is certainly one of those things to me if you want one as of recording this video, which is, I think, June 1st, 2022, there is one brand new for sale on the Comey Stewart website with a broad nib, which is very nice. It is listed for £4,000. But if you have that money lying around and you really want one, there's a chance. At least I think it's brand new. It's on the Comey Stewart website. Anyway, Google that. Conway Stewart Great Exhibition, and you may find that. Uh, if you do end up snapping that up, do let me know, because I would love to know who ends up with that pen. Um, welcome to the club, then. Um, I'm very happy with my pen. It marks a very special moment in my life, and I think a fountain pen is a great way to mark such an occasion, because it's a product that you can actually use, you can have fun with, and I have taken this to work and I can tell you it is a conversation starter. Not why I bought it, but yeah, I'm super happy. And that's nice for me. I'm sure you agree. Um, that's it. Let me know of curiosity. Money was no object. What would you buy? What, did, what, is you, what would be your pen treat for yourself. I hope this was useful. Um, a very kind thank you to all the people who were involved in getting this to me. You know who you are. I don't want to name any names because I don't know if everyone wants to know how they were involved and in what capacity, but multiple people were involved and I appreciate that. So thank you for that. And that's it. I'll see you later. Hope this was useful. Bye!